Red Voyage News, Splash in the check-in. Thank you for tuning in. I just moved into a bigger, brand new apartment. That's why you hear a lot of reverb in the microphone. Later on down the line, I'm going to buy some acoustic foam to place on the walls here so it could dampen that sound and give you a much drier sound in the microphone. So, you know, please forgive me for the sound quality for now. Another thing I want to promote, I want to promote my Buy Me A Coffee page. I'm not logged in on this uh, screen right here, but in the link in the description box below, uh, that'll direct you straight to my Buy Me A Coffee page. If you want to donate, I don't have a cash app. I can't have a cash app because I'm overseas. So if you want to donate and show your appreciation to the channel, you can go to the, click the link below to my Buy Me A Coffee page. You can drop whatever you want you know, on the page if you like. If you want to become a member to my Buy Me A Coffee page, you can do so. It's only $8 a month. Uh, if you're interested in how, you know, black people are treated overseas by other races of people outside of America, then, you know, become a member and watch the video clips that I have uh, on, on the members page, on the Buy Me A Coffee page, okay? So just click the link below. Now let's get into it. A lot of people are talking about Turkey Leg Hut. Uh, Houston is my second home. You know, I was raised in San Antonio and like literally two days after I graduated high school, I moved to Houston and I was living there for several years. My family still lives there to this day. And, um, you know, I, I've never gotten a chance to actually go to the Turkey Leg Hut. I haven't been back to Houston in a long time, but I've been following, uh, you know, what's been happening to this restaurant for the past couple of years. I know a lot of, you know, white supremacists in that area have been trying to shut down that restaurant for a while now. You know, they've been trying to shut down that restaurant for minor reasons, which, you know, further shows that, you know, what happens to us when we try to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. You get non-blacks in the area that want to see it go away. They don't want to see you really doing for self. On one end, they want to deprive your resources and then they want to point the finger at you and say, how come you can't get it together? Well, you know, we do have it together and our people have been showing a great amount of support for this restaurant. They even came out to support the restaurant when the media was trying to tear them down and the people in the area was trying to tear them down. But just like how you have a lot of non-blacks that want to see black businesses fold, you have a lot of self-hating people in the community that don't really respect the establishment and they want to see black businesses fold too. Not everybody, but, you know, that self-hating gene kicks in. You know, this the, the, the owners have been saying, you know, hey, look, we've been fighting tooth and nail to get um, the racism off our, the, the racists off our backs in the media, in the neighborhood. Now we need to get the negative energy that's within our own community off our backs as well. So we're going to establish a dress code. We want black people to come in presentable and I'm not mad at them, but a lot of, there's been a lot of outrage uh, on social media against this restaurant for, you know, trying to just establish a dress code. Now, this is their new policy right here. No excessively revealing clothing, including distress, ripped clothing that is revealing. Shorts must cover your entire bottom. Basically, we don't want no hookers or hoes coming up in here. You know, respect our establishment, please. No obscene language or baggy clothing. No inappropriate graphics or language on clothing. So, you know, you're not going to come in with a shirt that says, fuck everybody. No excessively baggy, sagging pants. Now, in 2021, I don't know who's really wearing baggy pants. You got a lot of brothers out here wearing skinny jeans and uh, 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 dresses. So I, I don't. That's kind of like an old stereotype. I mean, is that a new thing? Are people are back to wearing baggy clothes now. No house attire. This includes wave caps, do rags, house shoes or shower caps and bonnets. You've been seeing Monique for the past couple of months calling out black women at airports and public places, you know, wearing bonnets saying like, hey, you know, can't we do better? Is this the best we can do when we step out in public? 
No exposed undergarments, including sports bras, or bras, panties, or any garments resembling these items. Basically, you can't have your whole ass out and your thong showing. No swimwear of any kind is allowed. And that one came out of nowhere. I mean, y'all brothers hopping out the pool or going straight to the turkey leg hut. Now, the thing is, man, is like, you know, I, I've been out and about in Houston late night, two, three o'clock in the morning, Danny's and, uh, you know, the Waffle House and shit like that. A lot of these different clubs and, you know, when, when people step out in this type of attire right here, first of all, it, it's their establishment. They can um, make any, you know, enforce any policies they want to. Second of all, you know, a lot of times when you go out and, and people that are dressed like this and it, it's just, uh, you know, an all black establishment, I'm not saying that something happens all the time. No, because I've been to all white bars before. I've been to all white clubs, pubs, whatever you want to call it. I've been to all white sports bars before. I used to live in the Midwest in the middle of nowhere, which is number white people in the town. And they would fight from the moment the doors open to the moment the doors close. The police didn't shut down the establishment. They kept going. They kept running their businesses. They were allowed to run their businesses. And the thing is, is nobody tried to shoot each other. That's the thing. You know, you got some of these establishments where it's all black and not to say that something happens every single night. But when stuff does happen, it goes way too far. Somebody, they fight to kill at a lot of these black establishments. They want to take somebody off the earthuses whenever they get into it. When, when funk is on with somebody at a spot. Now, I don't know if the Turkey Leg Hut has had any incidents where fights have broken out. But when you see fights breaking out, when you see whether it's men, women, and it might turn into shooting, most of the time people that are fighting are dressed just like this. Like, hey, I ain't got, I, I might be dressed nice, but shit, you know, it, F these jeans, you know, I, I can get some more. F this shirt, I can get another shirt. Usually when you go to a, an establishment, when you go to a spot and they have a dress code and it's casual wear, there's more likely violence won't happen when there's a spot and there's no dress code. Then on top of that, you know, these are people who have a concern for their own people. It's like we got to present ourselves better. And I'm not saying just because you present yourself better that that's going to make racism go away. No, absolutely not. I mean, they used to lynch us. If you go back to old photos of of black folks getting lynched in a tree, hung in a tree. I mean, we was wearing suits back then. So it's not about how you dress or what you wear that's going to kick racism off your backs. You, you show if everybody shows up in a suit and and, and a tie, that's not going to stop the people in the neighborhood from trying to shut this, you know, restaurant down right here. No, but you know, we can carry ourselves with a certain level of respect so that when we look at each other, it's not, you know, I, I dare somebody try me if I step up in this restaurant right here. I dare somebody try me in line. I dare somebody try me while I'm trying to order my food. You know, shit like that. When you have pride in yourself, within your race, you're, you're proud of who you are and, and you show that in your attire, you show that when you step out and you see other people are taking pride in themselves when they step out as well, more than likely, more than likely you're going to have that level of respect for each other. And you're not going to think in terms of violence. When you greet one another, you're not going to think in terms of wanting to harm each other. When you greet one another, when you're standing in line, even if you bump somebody's like, Oh, excuse me, brother. I didn't mean to step on your shoes. Excuse me, brother. I didn't see you there. I apologize. You know, when you go up in these hood spots and there's no dress code, I mean, there have been people who lost their lives because they stepped on somebody's shoe because they bumped into one another. And I can see with this, this dress code, they're trying to dissipate that energy, that self-hating energy, you know, because you go to, you go to work and the non-blacks, they exert that energy onto you. You're not allowed to, 
um, you know, dish it back out to them. So energy never gets diminished. It just gets transferred. So it's easy to transfer it on to somebody that looks like you, but you can't really give what has been coming to people, you know, at your job when it's on the line. You see what I'm saying? By people that don't look like you. You know, you think twice about, you know, reacting a certain way towards people that don't look like you at your job, but you don't think twice about somebody that does look like you when you stand in the line trying to get some chicken or trying to get some turkey. And I'm not mad at them at all. You know, I salute the turkey leg hut. Whenever I get back down to Houston, that's the first place I'm going to go. All right. Like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Hey, if you want to donate to this page, click the link in the description box below for the buy me a coffee webpage. I'm over and I'm out. Peace.